Hello everyone and welcome back to Elegance on a Budget. Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, we're starting out to 2018 with a new project and we got this off of Pinterest months ago. Okay. So this is something that we were doing for the first time Great. and we're going to be making a storage cabinet Make it for your bathroom, your bedroom, or even a child's room, anywhere you want to place in your house or even in your garage. So anywhere you want to do. Um, so this is what we're doing today for the first time. So bear with us. And if this is something that you think you're interested in making, just continue to keep watching. Okay. These are the supplies that you're going to need. I'm putting legs on this one. So what I did was that I went to Home Depot and I purchased some legs. Um, I purchased the legs. So these are legs. So I'm doing four legs on here, which is going to give it height, which should look really nice when it's on there. So I did that. And at Home Depot now, what I was confused about at first when I got it, because I was trying to figure out how I was going to cut this. Uh, when I got, got it, it was put in like this. So I just want to show you a trick. I didn't know this at first. Um, but this here, it when I bought it, it was bought this way, and it was all the way in to here. So I just wanted to go and have that cut so I can glue it. But then I was messing around with it, and I said, you know, let me try and see if I can get it out because they they were telling me that they couldn't do it. It may split the wood. So I went and I got my pliers, and I did this, uh, just held on to it, and I start, you know, twisting. I noticed that it was coming out, and I said, oh, my God. So it started coming out, and this is what it is. Now, what I wanted to do was to turn this. This was my my original thing. I wanted to do this all along. So I turned it. I said, well, I wonder if this came out, can this fit into that hole? And this is what I did on this end here. So I just reversed it. So don't panic if you go there and find these legs where it's turned. Um, not this way, but the opposite way, because what you do is that you get your pliers and you hold, hold it. And then what you do is just start twisting it and it comes out that way. Now, uh, this is what I start doing to mine. I put it in and it start twisting in and I was really shocked. So this is, um, it makes it a lot easier too, because now you have the point to where you don't need a drill when you're doing, uh, doing this part here. Because the wood is not that thick. I mean, it's thick to where it's sturdy, but you can also put it in. It's like a ply, a, a heavy, thick plywood that you can just glue it in. So you don't need to do any drills or anything like that. But it could be easier for you if this is what you choose to do, you know, to do it easier. Uh, you can use a drill, though, if you want I'm you to just go on and do this. And then make it as small as you want. doesn't have to be... Only reason why I wanted this in there is because this kind of, when I go to wood, put the wood glue on, then that'll help it, uh, that keeps it in there better. Uh, so this is, and you can make these as short as you want. Just something that's gonna attach to it. So this is what I have here. So I just wanted you to see that. So these are um, the, we're using the Rilla wood glue. This is all we need for this project. We're dealing so. with something like this. They, they have the very light, light, uh, uh, the real thin uh, sand, sand the little top off and then, then you just wipe it wipe it, you know, wipe that off the dust or whatever from it and you do the other one like that because in that way that gives it a clean, it gets any type of oils, anything that may have, be, uh, that may have been building up on it and everything, it just gives you a clean surface to use so then you can continue now I'm going to be putting the glue yeah, so I just want to put wood glue here, here, and then we don't need a lot here, though. We're just going to... Yeah, of course, when you put it on here, it's going to expand, so uh, you, you're going to have to be wiping. But you want enough of glue on there so it'll stick. Okay, this would go here. And we do need clamps. Just the clamps from the 99 cent store. I was amazed that the clamps, they held on pretty good. So you want to get it and put it where it's supposed to be. And that would be there. Make sure it's balanced. 
it's level 12. Now with this one here, this is the one that I did uh, and it's going in. This is the hole that I had already did that. So all you do is just keep, you just press it down. This way, you don't have to worry about it ever coming, coming apart. Now to put the final thing, I'm going to go here, put it there, I'm going to go there. I'm trying not to put a lot on, but I do want enough on to where it's going to stay. I'm trying to put it in the middle so when it expand, it expand in the middle part. So that's why I'm just doing the straight line. I decided not to go zigzag. So I'll just go. Okay, I'll just go like that. Like this. Put more books I have to put more heavy books in here and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna just let this 24 hours for this to dry then after uh, after it dry we'll come back and we will spray it, paint it so this is the next day we allowed it to dry for 24 hours and in the drying process we decided to add an extra crate to it to make it a four crate so now what we're gonna do is take it outside and we're going to spray it. It turned out beautiful. Um, so with this particular piece here, uh, this is an actual um, piece of um, furniture and it's really pretty. You can use this um, for any parts in your home. Um, you can also use it too. That would make a beautiful, uh, nice storage thing. It goes into a child's room. You can use it uh, as a, like a little bookshelf. The little teddy bears, toys, or whatever you would like. Um, also, as a baby, uh, you can use it in a baby room to put all your diapers and uh, just your lotions and stuff. It's really pretty. Um, so it's just any parts parts of the home that you would like uh, that you may desire to use it. Uh, you can also choose to use this in any color. This can also be in a a uh, dark brown. You can do it pink for children rooms, white, but it's beautiful in white and I love it. Um, Endless yeah. um, imaginations that we want to do with these uh, crates right here. So it will be another um, other projects we will do with these crates. So just continue to keep watching out for that as well. We're going to incorporate 
this type of furniture into our channel as well just look forward to seeing this type of furniture always and we will have unique ways to do it we'll be um, using mirrors inside of um these types of furniture that we make oh it's it's just so much we're going to be doing with this piece of furniture you enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so at this time so you can receive all notifications every time we upload a video until next time god bless and we will see you on our next video bye